There's no delay. Uh, we agreed with Kermit that we'd give him until after the Manchester City game to see if he wants to stay at the club. If he tells us on Tuesday that he wants to stay at the club and he's prepared to commit to a new contract, then we are ready to commit to him. But he's got one year left on his contract. We're not going to sit it out and lose a player like him on a free transfer. Then I can't replace him. So if Kermit doesn't commit by Tuesday to a new contract at the football club, he'll be transfer listed. And the best offer that comes for him uh, as a player and for us as a club that's where he will go. The big three. The, yes, the big three. Yeah, they've yeah. all interested. When was the last communication between yourself? I've and spoken to all three clubs various times the last few weeks. So they're all interested in Kermit. I can't say because uh, I've given my player the, my word that uh, he, we will allow him to go to the club of his choice. The situation is simple. If he doesn't sign an extended contract, he won't play for Supersport in the next season. What is, it, what is important for you? Are you trying to make sure... I'm trying to build a team. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a team of players that want to be and want to commit. Edwin and Jima committed to us till 2017. Tabisa and Kwan has committed us to 2017. Uh, you know, a, a lot of my players, the young ones from the academy, are with us till 2016, 2017. We're trying to build a team here. So I don't want to have Kermit for one season. I want to have Kermit for three seasons. If I can't have him for three seasons, better we could be part ways now. I don't know. I never heard that comment from the chairman. You know, we love Kermit. He's been with us since he's 12 years old. I've loved Kermit since he was a small boy. Uh, I've watched him grow up. I've dealt with his parents. I've, I've traveled with him in Holland. I moved him to Feyenoord. I brought him back from Holland. I've got a very, very close and special relationship with Kermit. I have not one bad word to say about Kermit. He's a good football player and he's a good young man. Uh, he's just become a father. Uh, he's got other things on his mind. Uh, so for, for for me, whatever decision he makes in his career, we must respect it. And if he feels that there's greener pastures for him, there's no bad feelings towards Kermit Erasmus. Obviously, the chairman is entitled to his opinion. I never heard what the chairman said, and uh, I, you know, I hadn't spoken to the chairman about it. But from a football club point of view, we love Kermit, and we would love him to stay. No, not for his potential, he hasn't. But it doesn't matter because you see in moments like today that he has. He has the, the X factor. There's not a lot of players that have X factor, um, but he hasn't scored enough goals and he'll be the first one to put up his hand and say that he hasn't scored enough goals. But if you're asking me, does he have goals in him? Unquestionably, he's got goals Hence, in him. Hence, I'm having this question, Stan, with a statement like that. Is it easy for a player when a head of the, of the club releases a statement like that to commit to a club? I think, I think our chairman, like many of us, is frustrated that this situation has dragged on and on and on. We wanted clarity, the same as we wanted clarity with Gavin. Gavin gave us clarity, we can move on. There's no hard feelings with Kermit if he wants to move on. But what we don't want to be doing is be dragging into August and we're not sure whether one of our main players is going to be with us or not. That's the frustration that's building over uh, with the board and with the chairman. And, and Kermit understands that. He knows the frustration. Unfortunately, it's not a negotiation only with Kermit. You know, there's outside uh, people involved in this negotiation that have made it more complex and more difficult than it needed to be. Because for us, it's very simple. He stays, wonderful. He doesn't stay, bad luck. We wish you luck, good luck in your future. But we want to build a football team here at Supersport. Tuesday is the D-Day. Tuesday is D-Day. So if he hasn't signed by Tuesday, he will not play for Supersport in 2013-14. Uh, if that means that he, he sits in the stands, that's the way it's going to be. I think he's unsettled the boy mentally. I think that if it was up to Kermit on his own, he would have signed an extension with us and he would have given Kevin a chance to work with him and bring the best out of him. I think Rob's been motivated by only commercial uh, elements and, uh, you know, obviously for us as a football club, we want to try and get the right balance between the commercial elements, which are important, but also the football elements because we see a lot of players moving to other clubs and, um, and stifling and derailing their careers. And we've seen that from ourselves as a football club and you know you can look at a lot of the players that have moved from us to other clubs and they haven't taken off the way that they should have. Um, they haven't been given the opportunity to go abroad when they've had those chances to go and we don't understand why any footballer would leave Supersport United when we leave the international door open for our players, when we look after our players and we've shown that if they give us 110% we're also prepared to move them to local teams. You know Dane Clayt was a player that we never wanted 
wanted to lose. But Dane had been with us for a long time and we gave him our word that you've served us as a loyal servant. If you win the league championship for us this year, you can choose the club that you want to go to. And I've said the same thing to Kermit. But unfortunately, we would like to have kept Kermit. And we think that, that Kevin could bring the best out of Kermit. And Rob seems to only have one idea in his mind that Kermit's leaving the club. So, of course, that's frustrating and, and not nice for us. I would like to have seen with a new coach under Kevin that Kermit says, listen, Kevin, I want to work with you for six months. And if I'm still unhappy in the January window, no problem. We'll put you on the transfer list. But to try and cut ties before we've even had an opportunity to gel this young, exciting team that we feel we've got, we think that Kermit hasn't been given the best advice. But that's our opinion, and, and obviously, you know, I, I don't want to enter into a war of, uh, a war of words with, with Rob Moore. You know, Rob's got his international clients and his own mindset about what's right and wrong um, and how to deal with clubs and maybe Rob's used to dealing with some international clubs so he thinks that Super Sports United can just be bulldozed or, or you know um, treated um, in a disrespectful manner which is disappointing for me when his other player with me Sibusi Suzuma I gave my word that uh, because his children were in the middle of school that I didn't want to disrupt him in the middle of the year and that I would keep him uh, so that his kids could go uh, and change school in the January time frame and not in July because I felt it was unfair uh, for a good player like that and an ambassador and that's the way that Supersports uh, treated all our players uh, in, over the 13 years that I've been at the club with immense respect you know it's very difficult for you to go out and find me a player that will say that Supersport United didn't treat them fairly and, and I feel that in the Kermit situation we've been pushed into a corner that's not fair for a club that's looked after a young boy since he was 12 years old but now we've had enough and he either stays or he goes and if he goes we wish him well and we, we, we wish him luck and we don't have any bad feelings towards him I think Kermit felt he, wa he warranted more game time than he got at the club and um, I think he felt that the style of play that we were playing wasn't uh, suited to his strengths. Uh, he, Kermit likes to play with the, with the ball at his feet and I don't think he felt that we were playing that kind of way but to be honest with you the club is about a, a collection of individuals and not one individual so we have to back the coach in those situations. I'm not getting anyone yet. After Tuesday, I'll go harsh into the market. Is he, is not if Kermit right? leaves, I will replace him. Do you have your replacement ready? Yes. Is he, where is he coming from? He's coming from the gods of football. <laughs> I'm not telling you. I've got one foreign space left <laughs> and lots of South African space. <laughs> I think Kermit felt he, he warranted more game time than he got at the club. And um, I think he felt that the style of play that we were playing wasn't uh, suited to his strengths. Uh, he, Kermit likes to play with the, with the ball at his feet. And I don't think he felt that we were playing that kind of way. But to be honest with you, the club is about a, a collection of individuals and not one individual. So we have to back the coach in those situations. I'm not getting anyone yet. Uh, after Tuesday, I'll go harsh into the market. Is he, is not if Kermit leaves, I will replace him. Do you have your replacement ready? Yes. Is he, where is he coming from? <laughs> He's coming from the gods of football. <laughs> I'm not telling you, I've got one foreign space left <laughs> and lots of South African space. <laughs> it's always been there, it's always been a talk about his coming going, his coming staying. I don't have those problems in my pocket. Those problems are in his pocket. He has to decide what he wants to do. Who, me? I'd like all my players to stay, wherever I go. But football is football, eh? Some will go, some will come. It's just like me. Some coaches will come, some coaches will We have discussed any money. It's about whether Kermit wants to stay or not. If Kermit doesn't want to stay, then we'll talk money. If Kermit wants to stay, there's no amount of money. I've been offered 8 million rand, 8 million, for two of my players. And they're not going anywhere. 8 million for two players. And, and, and they're not going anywhere. So it's not about money. It's about whether the player has the desire to stay with a football club or not. Manuel, get one of them? Yes. Sundowns? I'm not saying. <laughs>